Hey everybody, Dave Monahan here, Guts and Tools and Supplies, and once again it's time for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Well, today we're going to kind of go down the old bracy path, as it were. In today's technologically advanced engine rebuilding world that you're all a part of, you're all into these multi-angle seat cutting blades. I've done videos recently on those showing you how great it is to cut all angles simultaneously with a single carbide blade, but there is still a tremendous amount of seat grinding going out there every day. We're shipping out truckloads, well, maybe not truckloads, but order after order after order of seat grinding stone. So I know a lot of you are still out there grinding seats, even if you got the high zoot, uh, Rottler and Winona Van Norman and Nguyen seat and guide machines that are out there on the market. Like even the Surtees, yeah, I didn't want to forget the Surtee guys. Top of the line machines. You still got those seat grinding kits. I know that because you're ordering seat grinding stones from us. So I wanted to get into a little bit more detail of why we have so many seat grinding stones and all the accessories and tools and tooling that goes into the seat grinding process. First, I wanna give you a little bit of information on, we don't just give you one or two stones and saying this will work for everything out there because ah, that's just not how things work. We've got six different varieties of abrasives for our seat grinding stones. The one you probably heard the most about and use yourselves here is the general purpose or the GP stone. Notice it's kind of a grayish blue. The second stone we offer is a cool blue. It's a CB stone. Now we originally developed this, oh gosh, goodness gracious, almost 20 years ago now to deal with the copper beryllium of valve seats and a lot of those go fast silver heads. Of course, copper beryllium has gone away. It's replaced with copper or bronze and the valve seat material. But the makeup of this wheel gives us a good advantage against some of those diesel harder seats that you're encountering out there. Or the multi-alloy seats you still see on the aluminum heads, uh, the go-fast aluminum heads with those different alloys they're using in the valve seat. So the cool blue uh, was a surprising blend of abrasives that actually worked out to have more applications than we originally wanted it to. Stellite seats, harder than Superman's kneecap out there, mostly found in diesel, off-road, earth-moving uh, applications. So uh, Stellite uh, is out there. We need a special blend of abrasive to deal with the Stellite seat. Of course, this stone here is a finishing stone. We use it to finish a variety of different materials. It generally follows the general purpose stone, but we also still offer that finishing stone. Another abrasive we came up with and have had in the line for many years is a salt and pepper looking stone. That's our NC or nickel chrome stone. Now again, nickel chrome is a hard alloy mostly used in, in, in heavy duty uh, applications of uh, both gas and diesel road and off-road type applications. And uh, so when you run on across a nickel chrome seat, you'll need a nickel chrome abrasive to deal with that. And one that came from, our, I believe, our friends at Black & Decker, Sue had this abrasive as well, and that's that ruby, that red or pinkish, pinkish red color that you see. More or less a general purpose stone, but uh, I know a lot of you shops out there use it for a variety of different applications because it is a unique blend of abrasives and bonding material that allow it to have more than just a specific application. So again, not one abrasive is going to do all things for you. That's why we give you a choice. You not only get a choice in the abrasives, but different diameters. And of course, they're all designed to fit all these various stone holders that you see me having up here on my table display. And that's what I wanted to get into next. You might say, geez, Monahan, you got 8,000 different stone holders. And I'm glad you brought that up because when it comes to stone holders, you guys invest in a lot of dollars in pilots. So each of these stone holders, like uh, the original uh, SX holder from Sioux, uh, has a 385 uh, top size pilot like this one right here. This is a 385 top to go inside of this stone holder right here. So that's, a nice, that's an original Sioux setup on there. We make these stone holders right here in Winona, Minnesota. 
and the pilots are made by another company still here in the United States. But uh, the SX holder is the standard replacement Sioux stone holder that we've all grown up with for many, many years. And I took it one step further. I'm going, okay, well, you know, the 385 Pilot is uh, becoming less popular here on the top. Uh, it's being replaced uh, worldwide, globally, I should say, by the 375 top size Pilot, which is this guy right here. And so I figured you guys are investing in these new late model seat and guide machines. I felt compelled that if you've got high-end carbide pilots in the equation, those all have a 375 top. And we don't worry too much about pilots bending and, uh, and seat grinding because the beauty of a seat grinding stone is we're making full contact all the time, so we have less pushing from a single carbide blade that we get from those multi-angle seat cutter blades. But I also know that you guys have an inventory of 375 pilots, so you may have it the correct valve guide dimension with a 375 top that you don't have for a 385 or for your Sioux seat grinding set. So we make Sioux stone holders now that have the Sioux thread on here that take a 375 pilot. We also took it one step further and uh, made it for you Southern people out there. All you guys have those VGS 20 seat and guide machines, and there's hundreds of them all around the world. That has a 389 top on it. So again, make these stone holders here in Winona, Minnesota. We're able to change this sleeve. So now I've got a sun holder that has a 389 top with a Sioux thread with a Sioux drive. So you can use your Sioux seat grinding equipment with your son and pilot. So again, it's just another way to amortize those dollars invested that you guys have when it comes to pilot inventory. Because let's face it, you need pilots for every thousandth of an inch of guide dimension for sure. And in some cases, you're looking at quarter tenths, half tenths, three quarter tenths of those sizes. And those carbide pilots uh, have that incremental breakdown four places over on the digit but i'm kind of getting carried away a little bit we do make the little short stubby uh, sx 1672 sioux stone holder as well so that is still available to you and this stone holder here looks like some of those original uh, uh sioux because it had this neck here on the top this is for black and decker it's got a 375 uh, hole in it it's got that 5 8 uh, hex drive uh, here on the end and uh, that uh, also uh, is made here in Winona, so we have that full complement. Now that was just for the Sioux applications. I also want to introduce you to the Quickway application. We bought the Quickway seat grinding division, oh goodness, probably five, maybe even six years ago. So we're making the guns up here in Winona, we're making the dressers here in Winona. We're, I've already told you we're making all these stone holders over here in Winona, but we're also building the actual original rebuildable Quickway stone holder. And it has a 437 uh, top pilot in it uh, that we need. And uh, we offer this stone holder with both the uh, bounce spring built into it or without the bounce spring. So keep that in mind. It has the hex drive here on the top. The ones uh, without the bounce spring are a little bit less expensive than the ones with the bounce spring. But the big takeaway with that quick way design is as it does wear, we have the rebuild kits so you can actually take this thing apart, put the new bearings in it, put new sleeves in it, dial it back in, and you've got a rebuilt stone holder. There's nothing wrong with that. You're rebuilding engines every day. Why not save some money in the long haul and get yourself a rebuildable stone holder? Well, to that result, I had to look at Quickway the same way I had to look at Sue. There's a lot of different uh, variety of pilot sizes on the acquisition back to the seat and guide machines that are available out there, all running a 375 uh, top pilot. So now I've got a, a quick way, a stone holder that has a 375 hole in it. Still got the hex drive here on the back. So got the same threads for all your quick way uh, valve seat grinding stones. And the hole is now 375. So you've got a 375 pilot. You don't have it in a 437 top we've got a stone holder for you. Now this stone holder is not rebuildable. This is a one and done. It's got high, high precision bearings like these other stone holders do, but to reduce, to keep the cost out of this, you can see I've got a, a, a similar silhouette all going together. I call that modular manufacturing. Uh, we're able to make these uh, at a lesser cost. We pass that savings on to you. So there's quite a bit of difference in cost between this non-rebuildable stone holder and these rebuildable stone holders. So keep that in mind. So again, 
we made a quick way stone holder to take a 375 top pilot. We also, again, remembered our, our friends at Sunnet, 389 tops. We made a quick way stone holder with threads, hex drive, non-rebuildable, made here in Winona, and it'll accommodate a 389 or you can use those multitudes of southern pilots you have on your tool board back there. And then also, to save you some money, we not only offer the rebuildable original Quickway, but now we have a non-rebuildable 437 Quickway stone holder for you there as well. So, we're, yes, we need your business, but we're also trying to look out for your wallets at the same time. And that's why thinking through the... Uh, uh, environments you guys are working with. I've got this top size pilot. I've got this top size pilot. I've got this seat grading kit. How can I make that all work better? Well, if we just invest a few extra hard-earned dollars into the equation, we can utilize more of that pilot inventory, which is quite great in most of the machine shops I've been to around this great country of ours. There's a lot of different ways to uh, not only uh, uh, deal with the stone holders, but the valve guide pilots themselves, and, and this is where I, I, I really got to stress on you guys on the top. If you're not measuring, you're just guessing. So on your 385s, if you're down on a 385 top, if you're down about 383, that pilot is now junk. It's a tent stake, basically. If you're at 437 on a top, and you get down to about 435, about 2,000 square here on the top, again, it's a tent stake, throw it away. When it comes to the 375 top pilots right here, if you're down to about 373 or less, it's junk, it's a tent stake, throw it away and get a new one. The reason why that measurement is so critical is we don't want this thing flopping around on the top of that because again, precision ball bearings need to rotate on the center line or their axis to run this grinding wheel true so we get a nice concentric valve seat at the end of that effort and operation. Uh, it's also critical, and we get these calls all the time on our tech desk, is I don't know what size the valve guide is, but the valve itself measures 341. Use that as an example. Well, again, and then we're asked to guess what that pilot dimension should be. Well, when I can figure one and a half, two thousandths of oil, so 341 equals 343, but that's, again, not the right way to do it. We got to measure the ID of the valve guide itself so that we can get the proper pilot put into the equation. One thing to keep in mind when it does come to pilots is in seat grinding, seat grinding only, we can use those expanding pilots that give us a range down here on the bottom so we can take up those variances uh, when we don't know the exact ID of that valve guide. An expanding pilot with seat grinding or using the new way gold seat cutters is acceptable, it's true, and it'll give you a round concentric seat at the end of the day. But in the perfect world, you'd have an exact tapered pilot for those applications in thousands or half thousands of increments all the way up and down. Uh, engine building is technically advanced. Uh, there's a lot going on in the, in the engine shops out there. We're very proud to, to uh, be a part of your business each and every day. We want to earn it uh, the old fashioned way with good quality variety of products, all priced reasonably and immediately available on our shelves. So if you have questions, give us a call at 1-800-533-8010 or catch us on the web at goodson.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.